Whoa, dude. That's crazy. All we needed was a little ramen and <laughs> it's all good. Everything goes perfect. <laughs> Welcome to a unique and unexpected surf scene in Japan. A wave with unusual contrast. On one side, the raw, powerful energy of the ocean, and on the other, the industrial hum of machinery, both coexisting in this unexpected surf haven. I'm always excited to explore different surf spots and immerse myself in unique surf cultures during my travels. Surfing Japan is not all about navigating through rocks like a kamikaze pilot. Here's a look at a more traditional Japanese surf scene, a sci-fi looking one at that. Let's start from the beginning. Welcome to Shinko, one of Japan's most consistent surf breaks, 30 minutes outside the main city of Sendai, home to many of Japan's surfing elites and up-and-comers alike. My name is Karen. Oh, that's a gem. Scene report here at Shinko. Oh, big old snaps right there on a beautiful Sunday morning. Shinko's unique bathymetry is able to magnify any sort of swell that swipes the coast, which seemingly has shaped and honed skills of generations of surfers in Japan. At this size, Shinko is a little skate park, with plenty of power to get lots of speed and little sections everywhere. そういう波があるって言えば自分に合わせてしゃべったまあもうちょっと自分をいつも乗れるような体勢にしまあここに住んでてラッキーだなとまあ、<笑> Not only was this one of the funnest lineups I've gotten to share, but the car park scene was buzzing. Yeah, so we're noticing that the session begins like when you arrive to the car park and you have your bucket, you have your board stand, you have like everything that could possibly like set your session up like as best as you could ever think of. And then you just post up you shred, you come in, and you just feel amazing. I'm inspired. Inspired and impressed in so many ways by this gem of a scene. Home to heavy hitters like Keito Matsuoka, who was kind enough to show us around the area. You may know Keito from winning the Wave of the Winter at Pipeline in 2019. We came to hopefully get a glimpse of what trained Keito to accomplish that. But first, cow tongue. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa. Next level. Bellies sluggish with cow tongue. We were ready to hit the hay and be ready for a new pulse of swell forecasted to fill in tomorrow. <laughs> Pre surf routine? Yeah. Routine. More aerodynamic. Mm. <laughs> Go faster. How's that peak right there? That peak was sick. Oh, damn! That thing was insane. Oh, awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's yeah go. which peak? Shinko sits right next to the bustling port of Sendai, where you're surfing alongside the constant activity of trucks, cranes, and massive ships in motion. Combine that with offshore six to eight foot peaks, and it creates a surreal, almost sci-fi surf experience.
Shinko sits on an underwater canyon, meaning it goes from really deep to really shallow quickly, which is both why the port is here and why swell gets magnified. It's also why paddles back out can be extremely challenging. Keito called us into some soul-warming ramen and told us to save some energy for later. Because with rising tide and dropping swell, it sounded like it could be hitting a different part of the sandbar that I was really excited for. <laughs> and after hitting the best ramen I've ever had with the crew, I realized it didn't matter what the surf was going to be like. We were all going to be floating. Maybe a little better, yeah? Yeah. More rippable. Yeah, yeah. All we needed was a little ramen and <laughs> it's all good. Everything goes perfect. <laughs> After getting to spend time here, it's easy to see why Shinko is one of Japan's most thriving surf scenes. The diversity of surf conditions is impressive, from playful mellow waves to powerful offshore swells that keep even the most seasoned surfers on their toes. It's no wonder why Kato got that wave at Pipe. If you can do it out here, you can do it anywhere. But what truly makes Shinko special is the people. The local surf community is passionate and welcoming and are at the forefront of pre and post surf innovation. Shinko is more than just a surf break. It's a crossroads where tradition and innovation meet. And like most surf scenes, it's a melting pot of generations of beach mumming that is so refreshing to be around and helps keep everyone motivated to do better each time they hit the water. Thanks for having me, Shinko. Sayonara. That one is a uh, Japan uh, smallest mountain, number two, number six. Where is that? Yeah. That? <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah. The number smallest two. mountain in Japan. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Number second. two. Second. Number the two. second most <laughs> smallest. <laughs> Three meters high. No way. <laughs> Uh, Good job. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>